Well, hi, Leos. Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. It is time for your reading. I am using the Rider Waite Tarot deck, and we are just going to take out about six cards, and I'm going to clarify the ones that I feel need clarifying for your reading. If this is your reading, it is a general reading. So, for Leo's, what do you need to know? I want one more card, if I can get one more to start with here. That's right here. Stuck in my hand. If they stick in my hand, I take them. They're saying, do not let me go. All right. Well, oh boy. So Leo's, there has been uh, a tower moment. Okay, this is in your highest energy. Uh, you. It could have been, I don't know yet what it was, but it could be anything from a, a death in the family to um, a breakup. Uh, it could be an argument, not even a breakup. But I have the Page of Wands right next to the Tower card. And the Page of Wands, this is telling me that, you know, something was brewing. Something was said uh, that had brewed inside of you and it just like worked its way up at your feet and then it came out your mouth and, and you're holding this staff here of fresh starts and new beginnings. So it has to do with moving forward. And I think it caused an argument or something here. And a part of what you had to say, part of what you feel in, in this conversation that, that brewed and you just had to have was that you deserve better. You deserve more. I have the Empress here. This is Libra or Taurus, by the way. But um, you're very kind and thoughtful, loving, considerate, respectful, and I can go on and on. You have so many great qualities about you. Um, you do need someone to move forward who also has a lot of those qualities. Uh, I just feel like a conversation brewed. I think that maybe that's why it was brewing, that you thought it might get out of hand, and it did. I have the Four of Pentacles under the tower here. So the Four of Pentacles is like feeling stuck. You feel, it felt like you weren't going anywhere. So there was no commitment. There was no nothing planned. Um, you just felt kind of stagnant in this relationship. I had the Ten of, of or the King of Wands next to the Four of Pentacles and under the Page of Wands. So yeah, you do want to move forward. This is fire, by the way, Leo. So, so this is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. One of those could be strong in someone else's chart. But you're holding that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings, and you are ready to move forward. And that's what this conversation was about that was brewing and coming to a head, actually, in a relationship. Well, what I see here now is you. You still have all these cups of love. Look at that, nine cups sitting behind you. And, you're, and you still got them. You haven't lost them. You still got them. But it looks like you're waiting uh, to move forward. I don't think, I th think you're either in a pause situation um, or it was just a total, just a done relationship here. Let me see what else comes out. I want to clarify the tower card for one thing. I've got two cards on that. Yeah, there's going to be some healing. Um, you know, a lot of truth is going to be spoken and it's going to be like, um, it's really deep healing with the star. This is a card for Aquarius. And then I have the Ace of Swords, which is clarifying the tower card. So yeah, it feels like you're going to have to heal and you're going to be healing down to your bare bones and you're going to remember what it is that you want, what you don't want from life. And it comes through honest and clear communication and that is what's going to happen so they may come out with their honesty their their clarity what they want you come out with yours and it just doesn't feel like it it mixes it just doesn't feel like it makes it um i let's see if i kind of want to clarify 
No, I want to just pull out a few more cards. I think the rest of it is just self-explanatory. I want like three more cards on this reading, please. Whoa, got four. So, let's see what happens here. So, wow, okay. You know, you wanted your fresh start, your new beginning. Well, you got it. The sun. There's lots of love and lots of joy associated with this card. So it is coming in for you. There is a love offer coming in with the Page of Cups. Or the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry. This is the Knight of Cups. The Page of Cups is not the same thing. But the Knight of Cups here, um, this is a sincere offer. It's like somebody wants your phone number. Somebody wants to move forward with you into a new life cycle. And I'm going to, I still got a clarification. I want to take on that Knight of Cups. But the world, this is a new life cycle. Um, uh, always for the better. It's... The thing that's got me here is this Four of Cups, because it's on the other side of the world. It's like you, you don't really want to accept that offer, or you really have to give it a lot of thought. And I want to know, I want to know what's going to happen here. So I do want to clarify the world. One card, just one card for the world, please. One card for the world. One card. There we go. Oh my gosh. So we got the lovers, the card for Gemini. Um, this is a soulmate that's trying to come in. You know, it feels like you're just not ready for another relationship yet because you're still in the middle of healing. But they're sincere. So they want, they seriously want to move forward with you, whoever this is. Is it the same person? I'm taking out a card on the Four of Cups. There it is. It's the Fool. So the Fool is like taking a leap of faith. Um, you know, throwing caution to the wind. Um, that's what they want you to do. They want you to go for it. They are a very strong soulmate. That we do have the sun here and the sun i think i think that they're going to allow you to hand out your cups of love but i think the timing is off it feels very off on this reading um i don't think they're going to give up let's take out one on the knight of cups one on the knight of cups that's what i was going to do before anyway on the knight of cups Please. There it is. Hmm. I think this is the same person or someone. That's why you're not accepting the cup. You've had experience with this person before. So it could be the same one that you just healed over that's coming trying to come back in. And that's the way it's feeling. So um they were being uh, a little bit deceitful i think they took more than they gave from the relationship they're a very strong soulmate that doesn't mean you have to be with them we got lots of soulmates i don't think you're going to accept that i feel like the sun is apart from that i think that you are entering a a, a, a better place in your life with more joy more love more of everything um, but I, I think they try to come back in during your healing process maybe some things are said because there's some clarity here and some honesty and this could honest could honesty can you know be hurtful but the, the honest part of this is that you are really feeling stuck and not going anywhere and they just want to keep you hanging in there they want you to take a leap of faith. I don't think you're going to accept their offer. 
I think you're going to just stay with yourself and hold out for that person who has a lot of the same qualities that you have. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So watch for that. I do think, if this is your reading, that they are coming back. Let's see what your angel card says. Where's my glasses? So Leo's, we have Angel Ariel. You can barely see the wings in the background. Very, very, a lot of light. I'm going to read this to you. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. So, wow. You know, this whole thing, you know, it's very spiritual, the star, the card for Aquarius there. Um, I feel like this whole experience is changing you. Um, and I think it's helping you to grow spiritually. And that's why you're finding the strength to turn down this, them, this offer of them wanting to come back into your life. And then this way you can enter the place of the sun. So, wow, Leos, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. And I want to thank my guardian angels and spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.